All right, chat, we've got a juicer of a day for you today. Let me turn off the music, because today we are going to watch a new show. A show that a lot of you have recommended to me, a show that a lot of you said would be very fun. And here's the real juice. My Taskmaster video on YouTube did really well. I think the British people like me. I'm the next Tommy in it. So I'm excited to present to you, would I lie to you, season, like I made the content. I'm excited to present to you this thing that I had no part in making. Uh, would I lie to you, season 14, episode 1. I don't know how the show works at all, so I'm excited. We begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panelists read out a statement from the card in front of them. To make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They have no idea what they'll be faced with. It's okay. up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction, and Richard is first tonight. Okay, so he's going to read something. He's never seen this. There are lies and there are truths in this. At school, because of something I once had in my lunchbox, I was given a seven-syllable nickname. All right, what was in the lunchbox? A uh, sandwich, a snack. How many questions do they get to ask? Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, what was and, the snack? Well, rarely we yeah. find six of our seven syllables. <laughs> ah, Ooh. brilliant. What's your six-syllable snack? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the first syllable if you want it. Please do. Dare. Oh, okay. it's Dairy, Dairy Lee. Lee. Triangles. Nearly. Dairy Lee. Go on, then. You can do the next three. Lunchable. Dairy, Dairy Lee Lunchable. Lunchable. You remember Dairy Lee Lunchables? I do, but I think they're after your time, no offence. I am. Um, <laughs> how dare you? I'm 27. <laughs> <laughs> Richard looks so good on this show. I don't know why he looks so old. Maybe it's the beard. He looks so good on this show. I think it's a lie. The tallest kid in the year. Uh, yeah. I, would... I mean, the thing is, you're trying to see him sweat, right? Does he fuck up any of this? But I think Richard is too suave. I think Richard is really good at this kind of game. And Alice, is he telling the truth? No nicknames only last two weeks. That's what's so yeah. devastating. That's what I said, Alice. Saying about a school nickname, isn't you it? You and they me, really Alice. Really linger. Did you have one, Alice? I actually did have one. Envelope bum. <laughs> Envelope bum? It feels like there's a rim job joke there, right? You lick envelopes? I, I don't know, but this is this is children. This is children chat. The That's tallest kid in the school has never had a nickname, because I did say before and after, yeah. no, nothing people, to do with my People hurt. quite liked me, Lee. It's a lie. No, no, it's a lie. lie. No. <laughs> oh, man. That makes Richard, sense. They're saying that it's a lie. Were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? It was. A lie. I knew it! Undefeated! I'm, the, I'm, I'm literally the human lie detector. After an incident in a hotel room, the crew of Celebs Go Fishing wrongly believed I was having a breakdown. <laughs> After an incident in a hotel room, the, the, the guests on Celebrity Fishing thought he was having a breakdown? <laughs> David's team. I mean, it might be the truest thing I've ever heard, mate. <laughs> Let's ask some questions. So you're doing this fishing show, uh, and what, what show. happens? And um, one day I had to go back to my hotel room um, because the next job I was doing... This game is goaded. You could play this with streamers. All they have to do is try and think of a story. It's just creative storytelling the game. So I'm on this video call, um, and I've done very well because I'm on quite early, and it, you know that thing when you... I think you say, I've done very well because <laughs> I've been working since the late 70s. <laughs> um, I think it was the production manager that knocked on the door ready to get me back, but I was right in the zone thinking, no, I'm just going to ignore and I'm going to carry on yeah. with this yeah. scene. So she heard me go, Sean, you've been like this since we were kids, bully, and you're nothing but a coward. Can I just oh. say... I think this might be true. He's really, really leaning into it. <laughs> So you're shouting and screeching, yeah. And she's thinking, oh, my God, Les Dennis is having a breakdown. Oh. <laughs> what are you thinking, Lou? I think it's truth. You don't just think it's true, you think it's truth. I think it's true. <laughs> but then again, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, I think it's truth, but it could be a lie. Yeah, that's the two options, my friend. What do you think? I believe anything Les says. <laughs> well, that could up. be a weakness. Les, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? I would like to say that I was telling the no. truth. Oh. Two for two, baby! I can't be stopped. I'm in your head. I'm the human x-ray. I'm in your brain. 
Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panelists. Now, this week, okay, two each of Lee's three. team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Roger. Wow, Roger. So, Alice, what is Roger is to you? <laughs> the oh, the oh, eyebrow raise. He could be literally like the richest man in the world. He could be the Bezos of Europe, and I would have no idea who that is. <laughs> uh, this is Roger. Uh, he painted my living room the wrong color twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Alice is Knock off Steve handyman. Martin. Les, how do you know Roger? This is Roger, and he once gave me a lift to family fortunes on the top of his bouncy castle. <laughs> so, Les's bouncy buddy. And Lee, what is your relationship with Roger? This is Roger. I once made him spend 20 minutes that he didn't have <laughs> looking for a dog that didn't exist. <laughs> David's team, where would you like... I think he's lying. I think the painted is the most realistic one. Okay, my... My take is absolutely the painting one. Yes. He paint the bouncy castle could be so absurd that it's true, and then maybe that one does, though. You're living in the wrong color twice. So what was... Also, how does he paint it the wrong color unless you brought the wrong paint? The first color. Uh, the first color was, I believe, called Railings. It's a kind of navy blue from uh, a very posh paint brand. And what so. was the color that you wanted? I wanted a dusty kind of plaster pink. Oh. No one messes up blue to pink. Actually, I think this is a complete lie. What? That is quite different. It's quite different, yeah. <laughs> and the second go? I got a pink that wasn't a dusty plaster oh. pink. You so, like a bit of pink, don't you? I love a bit of pink, yeah. <laughs> and, and then what? <laughs> I mean, she thought that was a little weird, maybe sexual, but she is wearing a pink shirt with bright pink blush and pink lipstick. Lipstick. You know, it's not. It, it was not actually a weird thing to say. I don't think. Ah, you're wearing pink. He's not being Thank creepy. You. Oh my god! I should be the host of the show. I'm literally prescient. I'm in their heads. I knew that there was some uncomfortability there. I knew it was a moment to pick at, a moment to fucking pierce. That's right. <laughs> A Lancastrian accent, everything sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? No. You love a bit of pink, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Les, the lift on the bouncy castle, mm -hmm. how did that come about? Um, well, uh, Roger worked on Family Fortune. <laughs> so, on this morning, um, we're staying in the hotel that's near the studios in Nottingham, and I'm worried because the cab hasn't arrived to take us to the studio, because I like to get there early for the production meeting. <laughs> he, was, he was working on the show. Yes. But in his um, spare time, he used to provide coconut chais <laughs> and... <laughs> coconut chais and skit lallies and mm. also um, bouncy castles. I think this is a lie, too. Uh, <laughs> Shit, the pain is seeming more reasonable now after all this. So Roger gets his bugle out. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. goes... Why has he got a bugle? Uh, well, he, well, Roger is a musician as well as having this leisure. <laughs> why? 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 You, you, what, what about Lee? Mm. Yes. Yeah, so remind remind us. Lee, what, what is it you're claiming? Yeah. I once made Roger spend 20 minutes uh, that he didn't have looking for uh, a dog that didn't exist. What was he late for? For work. What, what does, does he, he do? Work as Bouncy castles. We've already been through. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, Richard. Now, what about this little dog? I think dog? the paint is real. <laughs> yes. What little dog? Uh, the little. Oh, the dog. <laughs> yes. He's baiting. So I maybe popped into in. the uh, an enclosed area of trees and bushes. Here. Yeah. And I did what uh, I needed to do. Number two. Uh, I can't remember which tree it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw a little dog appear. Now, I thought to myself, I know what happens here. Somebody's going to come in after that dog. And sure enough, a man started coming in after the dog. I okay. can see Roger coming in. But, I quickly yeah. zip up. Right? While you're weeing? No, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was able to stop my wee. Oh, you're there, stopping oh, mid-wee. There are people <laughs> that can stop mid-flow. Some people... No, no shot. No, 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 no. So what do I do? I panic and I shout, Sheba! <laughs> Sheba! <laughs> And I stop pretending I'm looking for a dog. I see. So you then wasted 20 minutes of yeah. Roger's time, as we know. But listen, we can all stop mid-flow. Yeah. It's fine. For 20 minutes? Who said I stopped for 20 minutes? <laughs> oh. Continue. What now? <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, well, I'll help you look. I eventually had a plan, because I thought, I can't go for a... Sheba! Sheba! To... 
That's just, I'm going to get going. <laughs> to make that joy, isn't it? I'm going to get another dog. <laughs> <I'm gonna... laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so eventually, yeah. when he was far enough away, I went, Sheba! Sheba, is that my phone? Hello? No way! <laughs> she hasn't. <laughs> Has she? Yeah. Oh! That's incredible. <laughs> my, she my body had been found by the police. <laughs> <laughs> she found her way home. Oh, yeah, oh. classic. All right. We need an answer. So, David's team is... I know it's like the level one answer, but I truly think the paint thing is the truth. I think we're going to go with Alice. You think it's then. Alice? Roger, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Roger, and I took Les to Family <sighs> Fortunes. <laughs> there you sit on the bouncy castle. Yes, Roger. Damn it. Les's bouncy buddy. Thank you very much, Roger. Was the bugle part real? Are they allowed to lie? He's a bugler? Quick fire lies, and we start with... It's David. Quick fire lies. Hmm. Hmm. During lockdown, I let my hair grow so long that I would occasionally tie it up in a man bun. <laughs> <laughs> Please, see. Classic joke. Did you do anything like answer the door to postman or anything during this period? I probably did. Did they give you a slight look at, like... That's not the David Mitchell I know. Yeah. Say, it says David Mitchell, not David Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love Richard. I just want to watch everything with Richard in it. I think that David would be so averse to wearing a man bun yeah. that Agreed. whatever disaster a homemade haircut would achieve, I mean, he would rather do it with a pair of shears yes. than that sitting on top of his head. <laughs> yeah. So we're saying it's a lie, David. <laughs> were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? I was telling a lie. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I like to keep my old fingernail clippings so I can use them later on. Oh. <laughs> that has to be false, otherwise I don't respect him as a human being. What, what do you use them for later on? <laughs> um, well, if I've had a sandwich... Ooh. Oh! And I, I've forgotten to get hold of it. <laughs> Toothpick. Oh, Please be boy. fake. But the thing about toothpicks is they don't quite get in, do oh. they? they kind of... Les, are you single at the moment? <laughs> yeah, I'm married for the third time. The thing is, if Les doesn't do it, yeah. someone had to make it up. Oh. I think he does it and he's actually breaking in red because he's embarrassed. Truth or lie? We're going to go lie. Yeah, OK, we'll you're go saying lie. it's a lie. So, Les, it was a controversial one. Everybody's on yep. tenterhooks. Yep. <laughs> Truth? Or lie? Um, it is, and I promise not to do it anymore now. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh no, oh no. At least I got it right. <laughs> oh, that noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show, and I can reveal that David's team have two points, Lee's team have four points. Hey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wine me and dine me. That was the fastest end to a show. It went from this guy eats his fingernails to all right, good night in about seven seconds. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's crazy. That blew my mind.